The French government on Wednesday ordered striking staff at an ExxonMobil depot back to work. It also warned workers at a Total Energy depot they could be next. The move risks a wider conflict with trade unions as ministers battle to secure petrol supplies following weeks-long demonstrations. The government said it was requisitioning some staff at Exxon's Gravenshaw Port Jerome depot because the CGT remained on strike despite an agreement between management and other unions over pay. CGT union coordinator for ExxonMobil, Christophe Aubert, explained the workers' position. As a spokesperson for the striking workers, on our part we are hoping to go back to work as quickly as possible as we've reached out to the management to resume negotiations and to discuss workers' demands to improve purchasing power. Government spokesperson Olivier Varane branded the impact of the strike unbearable for the public. He said the requisitions should lead to a very marked improvement of the situation in the coming days. At the Total Energy depot in Dunkirk, where the CGT is also on strike, Varane warned that the government will also enforce requisitions, quote, if the social dialogue does not start. The CGT has called for support from workers in other sectors, and there were signs of that occurring. A representative of the FNME union said that some staff at EDF's nuclear plants had resumed a strike over wages, delaying maintenance work on at least five reactors. Refinery and fuel depot stoppages in France have been among the longest in Europe since the cost of living crisis sparked labour unrest. They have caused long queues at French service stations and rationing in some regions, and sent diesel refining margins to record highs in Europe and the United States.